LinkedIn, one of the most popular and powerful social media networks out there with an estimated 756 million users globally. So how exactly can salespeople like us use the network to prospect and sell effectively? Keep watching to find out more. Doing my bit for the environment by putting up a plastic Lego tree, of course. What's going on guys? It's Fahed here from Sales Availed, helping slash through, like my little friends here, all the misconceptions around sales, business, personal development, and of course, giving you the practical advice that you need in your day-to-day -day careers whilst sweating up a storm. I mean, it is boiling in here. One of the biggest changes that I've seen working in sales in the past decade, yes, it's been a while, is the advent of using social media networks to generate and prospect leads. Whether it's putting through inbound sales leads on Facebook or just connecting publicly with a business on Twitter, social media definitely has its place in the modern sales approach. Now, whilst these social media networks definitely have their purposes, there's no more social media network more common than using LinkedIn effectively in the sales outreach, especially in the B2B space. That just stands for business for business for any of you new to sales. So in the video today then guys, we're gonna cover my magnificent, and yes, I said magnificent, which is a bit of a weird word for 30 year olds to be using. But nonetheless, we're gonna be using my top four tips to reach out and successfully prospect and hopefully engage with prospects via LinkedIn. And these are gonna be the sneaky ninja tips that you need to follow. You're also gonna to wanna to stick around to the end of the video where I'll have a bonus for yourself. Yes, that's a common theme running through most of my videos, which will highlight exactly how I integrate LinkedIn with the rest of my sales approaches. So things like cold calls, cold emails, and genuinely doing anything for a sale. Let's jump into it, guys. Point one, reach out to the right people. Guys, there's no point in reaching out to prospects on LinkedIn if you can't find the right prospects and if they don't meet your ideal client profile or ICP. The first thing we need to do then is find the right prospects to go after via LinkedIn. Now, if you already have leads in a CRM platform like Salesforce, for example, it's just a very simple case of searching their name on LinkedIn and reaching out to them that way. However, I'm well aware that some of you are probably after fresh leads on LinkedIn, not just the tried and tested ones that you already got in your CRM platforms. So we need to do something a little bit different for those. The best way then I find that salespeople can use LinkedIn to find fresh quality leads is by investing in LinkedIn Sales Navigator. To use, simply click on the search bar and enter your parameters. To use an example, let's say we're selling into the automotive space and targeting HR people specifically. Now, if we were just to search this in LinkedIn, it would bring up a hell of a lot of results. We can use these filters to break things down even further. So we wanna target just decision makers, HR directors, add a couple more filters, and then boom, a little bit less daunting there. Unlike working in sales. But you know how you can change that, guys? By absolutely smashing that like and subscribe button if you're interested in more fantastic content around sales, business, and a little bit of personal development in there, please do consider subscribing, guys. It really does help out the channel. Point two, engage with your prospects. So we've done the hard part. We found the prospects that we want to go after. We can just drop them a message, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't want to get you carried away there, guys. Let's use an example. Let's say we're working in a retail store like Topshop, for example. I'm not sure if they still exist. It shows how clued up I am about the fashion world. But still, let's say we're working in the retail environment and selling clothes. As a sales associate working for these retail stores, stores, you wouldn't just run out randomly on the street and try to pitch to every single person, forcing them to buy a particular product. It would come across too strong, right? At least I hope that's not what you do. The same thing applies to engaging with prospects on LinkedIn. The first point of contact and the first thing you want to do with your prospects isn't send them a direct message trying to push a product towards them, but you want to engage with them a little bit and engage with them lightly. This could be as simple as liking some of their activity or just leaving a comment on some of their posts. Just ensure you're adding value to them. Point three connect. So this is often one of the scariest parts of reaching out to prospects on LinkedIn, but it doesn't have to be guys. It can be very, very simple. Now I often go back and forth in my mind actually around connecting with prospects because sometimes I feel as though sending a direct message to them after engaging with them briefly is probably the best result. However, after analyzing the data, I found that connecting with a prospect first more often than not will yield a better result in them responding. Simply smash that little connect button and connect with your prospect. But I know what you're thinking. Thinking, should you leave a little note to connect with them? Well, in my opinion, that always works a little bit better. <laughs> but what exactly should we say? Well, I'm glad you asked guys because I've come up with a brief template that I like to use whenever I reach out and connect to a prospect on LinkedIn. It sounds something a little bit like this. Whoop. Hey, 
person's first name. You guys can think of that yourself. Came across your profile, love your focus on X. So try and make that a little bit more personal there as well. Seem to share a lot of the same stuff that I do. So I thought it would be good to connect. It's short to the point, less than 300 characters are most importantly vague, which should hopefully get their interest and want to connect with you there on LinkedIn as well. Point four, the reach out. So you found the right person to speak to. You've added value to them by leaving comments on their posts and sales activity. You sent them through a connection request via LinkedIn with a nice little message. And now it's time for the all important reach out. I'm sure 90% of you are just interested in this, which is why I left it at the end of the video because it takes a little bit more effort, guys. And no, it wasn't just so I could increase the watch time and the awful video views that I'm getting. Like and subscribe. So the reach out then will be the part of the sales process that will take the most amount of time when reaching out to our prospects via LinkedIn. However, the good news for a lot of your subscribers is that it follows pretty much exactly the process that I use in my AppBand sales emails that you can find here-ish somewhere. Getting good at that. However, I appreciate some of you are a little bit strapped for time. So to summarize exactly what I would send in a LinkedIn message, I've written this. Start with something that's relevant to your prospect. So you want to make sure that your opening line is something that's relevant to them, whether it's a new role, a promotion, or better yet on LinkedIn, something that they posted recently. Then you want to bridge your message into the so what. Think why them, why now, and why they would be interested in hearing more about you. Your third paragraph or sentence then wants to be the proposition where you highlight exactly who you are, the problems that you solve, and some of the organizations that you also help support there. And then finally, you want to finish things off with the close, which is short to the point and gives one clear next step that you want the prospect to follow. Now, again, I don't want to leave you guys empty handed here. So let's use an example of exactly what I would say if I was selling myself, this guy, yes, this idiot here, a VoIP sales system. So potentially something that I would be interested in to improve my calls. Hey, Fed, glad I got my name right there, guys. I mean, you'd be surprised how often people get my name wrong. Just so you post on LinkedIn around salespeople needing to get on the phone more. Definitely it's a problem that is widespread. I can imagine with things finally getting out of lockdown, getting back on the phone and making cold calls is going to be incredibly important going forward. Not sure how familiar you are with Bugs Bunny Mother Love and Call Company. Beautifully creative name. I just watched Space Jam 2. It was pretty bad. We help companies such as Stark Industries and Wayne Enterprises getting more out of their calls, improving the chances of getting through to prospects and making more sales. If this sounds of interest, when would be a good time for a two minute call to discuss? Best XXX. And no, they're not kisses. You want to put your name there. Never put kisses on sales messages. It's kind of weird. Guys, thanks so much for sticking around to the end of the video. And as always, and as promised, there's a bonus here that I think is quite important for you to follow on and watch as well. So a lot of you are gonna be using LinkedIn prospecting as a way to enhance what you're already doing in the sales process, whether that's cold calling, cold emailing, showing up in person, crying yourself to sleep, frustrated that you're not, I mean, that's getting sidetracked, but still, you know what I mean. How exactly should you integrate uh, LinkedIn messages and, and your LinkedIn strategy with a traditional sales strategy. Well, I like to do it in the following ways. I would connect and engage lightly in their activity before you even send a first sales email to them really. That's probably one of the most important things. Then I like to send two LinkedIn messages, one on day five, which is basically a carbon copy of the first email that I would send them adapted towards LinkedIn using the points laid out in this method. And then around about sort of day 13, day 14, near the end of my sales cadence, I would send them a second LinkedIn message, just circling back to the message and making sure it's short and to the point and very brief. Now sales cadences themselves can be a little bit tricky to understand, especially in terms of how many calls you should make, sales emails, integrating LinkedIn, which this whole video is about. But if you want me to do a separate video, around that specifically, please do leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and I'll definitely get to that one. But as always guys, thanks so much for checking out the video. Hopefully my sweat patches haven't distracted you too much because of the sweltering heat. But until the next one, it's been a pleasure and excited to see you on the next one. As always, if you're interested in more great content around sales, business, personal development, or have any other further suggestions, leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts and me on my sweat patches. I'll see you in the next video. That's all for now guys. Have a good one. See you in a bit.